but because of pressure by factor viewers, Pepsi Cola late today capitulated. Ludacris has been fired. With us now is noted communications expert Jackson Bain from Washington, D.C. This just happened moments ago, as you know. Right. Um, and you had disagreed with my thesis that it was irresponsible of Pepsi Cola. Companies made trillions of dollars in the United States to hire a man to pitch their product who is, in my opinion, subverting the values of the United States. So go let ahead. Me tell you, let me tell you why. Uh, I disagreed because Pepsi Cola's decision to hire a ludicrous was not based on whether they thought his lyrics and his music uh, were offensive or, uh, or immoral, which in fact, as you point out, rightly so, they're offensive to me. But that's not the issue. Pepsi was looking to communicate its product, and that's all they were trying to communicate, to a target audience group. But it's the way of corporate America, and it has been since the beginning. All right, then why uh, did they cave? Certain. Why did they I'm, cave then? Well, because they do have one other factor that is really important, and that's called the trust factor. Uh, and their brand, Pepsi, uh, is, uh, is really built on a, on a conversation of trust between the company and the customer. Uh, if their customers respond like they did after your uh, broadcast last night on the factor, uh, as they did with 3,000 emails, uh, they're going to pay attention to that. That's a clear indication that much of their target audience group is saying, wait a minute, this is not right. You guys need to rethink your decision. All right, but not you only do they need to rethink Ludacris, all of corporate America, in my opinion, needs to rethink their responsibility to their country. Sure. I but mean, Bill, we're look looking at Enron, we're around. looking at WorldCom, we're looking at all these scandals, sure. okay? That's right. And now we're looking at companies like Pepsi Cola. And by the way, we applaud Pepsi Cola for admitting their mistake so quickly, sure. for turning it around and saying, no, you know, we are right, well, not let's, going let's, to, we, we go do to, have a responsibility. Let's go back to the original to decision. America. Let's go back to the original decision. This isn't a string of uh, decisions that even you pointed out last night. In 1989, Pepsi made another decision to pull Madonna right. off, a, uh, off a commercial because she offended so many people. Right. So they're already pre-sensitized to some of the public uh, outcries. We respect their opinion, but I All will right, tell no, you this. If it's, it's only not your Mr. Job, Bain, though, hold it, hold but it. Bill, it's not your job to tell people what art is, and that's hold what it. he's claiming. That's I'm not what telling he's anybody what art is. I'm giving you my opinion. It says okay. he's not an artist. He's a thug, and I'm entitled to it. But here's the point. The parental guidance responsibility in America has been, has been d badly uh, deteriorated all across the country. And it's not Pepsi-Cola's fault. It's the fault of parents who won't talk to their kids, who won't raise their children in an active way. Right. And that's not Pepsi's that's issue. That's fine. I'll no, give you the last word. Okay. The last word is this. The responsibility for America's morals are in the hands of America's parents. Pepsi-Cola is a mirror of the uh, society that they're trying to sell into. Right. That's what they do. Mr. Bain, thank you very much. Once again, we congratulate Pepsi for its decision. I and we too. congratulate you, Factor viewers, for making it happen. More ahead as the Factor moves along this evening. Once again, Germany tells America, stay away from Saddam.